going on guys we are off the treatment it is round 13 and we're in London let's go <laughs> while I'm talking to you. So we're just about to head to round 13 of treatment. I haven't had a treatment in four weeks it's been, so today's a bit of a shock to the system. It's literally the most glorious day today and we've got to spend it in hospital. Typical. Ah oh dear, welcome back my old friend. We are back for business. So basically the crack is, I've got good news before Christmas. Um, and the good news is the brain tumor is settled, the liver and the lung is all settled, but they're going to keep me on the same immune therapy um, until basically I can't have any more, which could be up to two years. So I'm a year down and I've probably got another year to go. So the great thing is that brain tumors are usually quite aggressive, they usually grow quickly or they're absolutely stagnant if they're benign, just they, they can range from a vast, you know. But the likelihood of my my one, which is melanoma, to grow is really, really high. Okay, so it's like 80% chance it could grow. So the fact that it hasn't is amazing. So they're going to keep me on this treatment. Uh, we're going to keep going. And I'm going to come every three weeks. So this is number 13. So I've done a lot. I could probably go up to about 20 something cycles of this. So it's draining, it's boring, but I know it's working, so it makes it a little bit easier to come. So I've got the go ahead for the treatment. Now I'm going to go and see what time it is. Uh, bloods should be okay. Um, we had a good catch up with the doctors, and there's nothing to report really, so I'm just ready to go ahead for this round 13. You alright? Hi. How you doing? <laughs> it's late there. No, I just need to see where my appointment is. Uh, I don't, I don't you know. Your number? Yeah, 595. 595. 351. Right, thank you. See Today is a total and utter rest day. Literally all we're doing is like walking. Didn't even use Aisha's mum's gym this morning because I've just been so busy at work. I've been training my ass off. And do you know what? Sometimes you just need it. You need a 24 hour break from lifting anything over the excess of your body weight. Lunch for Aisha. Carluccio's and I've got some salad bits. God knows what it is. Insalata di fagioli, which is like courgette and tomato. And then I got this, which is like, I don't know. It looks nice though. Woo! So I ended up eating more and more and more. <laughs> but I'm allowed because it's my day off and it's my tree day. But we have got a lot of things going on this weekend. Tomorrow we're going to go out for a meal with a family in Bromley. And it's like this nice meat place which is halal as well which is brilliant. So we're going to go there. And then on Sunday I just got a little surprise lined up for her that her friends have organised. And I know what it is but I should have something to go there. Uh, and then Sunday evening we're seeing my family. It's going to be a very busy weekend and I'm like, probably like a lot of food filled as well. So I need to rein it in. But we are training tomorrow morning, going to have a long session doing cardio and weights. I'm just going to come and join me, which is going to be great. And then I'm going to train again on Sunday in Fit for Less in Bromley. And I love that gym. It's literally so good. So we're just chilling now and I've got treatment in an hour and a half. So we're off to get some drinks for treatment and then we're going to go and get it done. Hello. So we're underway. Yeah. Just had it put in. Yeah. 
Nikon. I like Canon. Yeah, Canon's best. Yeah. I know. Anyway, thanks, Peter. That's right. I'll see you soon. I'll see you. I'll, see you later. I'll work there and I'll bring you a cheesecake in a couple of weeks. Yes, please. See, see you later. I'm just basically just sit and talk to Peter the whole time. It's brilliant. I love it. She's really good. So we are just... We're just about halfway through the streaming and I'm starting to feel it now. Like, start to feel tired and weak and pale and bleh. I wonder how I'm going to feel after this. Anyway, I'm glad I took the day off. Because how I feel right now not going to the gym, I wonder how I'd have felt if I did go to the gym this morning. Even if it was just like a long incline walk, it would still be like drained me of energy. Very grateful. There's <laughs> no there. Yeah. I love Canterbury. There we go. Okay. Just want to pass on it. We are done. Finished. Round 13. Boom. So we're going to go get the train home. Feeling like shit. But I'll see you at home when I'm probably collapsed on the bed. So it is minus five and I've just had to de ice that and it was like four layers of thick ice on the window screen. Saturday morning, post treatment, we're going to the gym. I'm gonna spend quite a while there and uh, enjoy it because I had a total rest day yesterday and I'm absolutely buzzing to go. And then we've got an exciting day ahead. So we're done at the gym. Well now we're going home for pancakes, which Bill's gonna make us. <sighs> And now I can't walk up the stairs, it's fucking hurts. Oh god, how do we get in? Oh. Gotta go all the way up to the top level. Maybe they've locked it. How do we get in there then? Well, we can even go that way. The way the car is stairs When you're fucking hungry and then they lock the stairs in the NCB car park, it drives you fucking crazy. She's in the car. Happy birthday to you. I didn't even know. Oh, you guys. Oh, that's so sweet. Hey, is this? Oh, pancakes are there. I surprised Aish with a birthday and breakfast. Did you? No, you they. You. Surprise. You didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't even know. No, I'm a bit gutted you didn't tell me. Are you happy, Aish? Yeah. She's got pancakes. You, look, you actually look really surprised. You look yeah. Like and your favourite. I was just really happy that you She saw candles and was like, ah! Yeah, I was just. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I'm going to get the pancakes. Yeah, I'm going to get the pancakes. What is going on, guys? It's late Saturday night. It's been an amazing, amazing day in London. <clears throat> we basically celebrated Aisha's birthday late. Um, because so much stuff was going on on her birthday, we couldn't celebrate it then. I've had a headache all day and I felt a bit shit, but I've just kind of tried to get on with it. Um, we went out into Bromley Town with a few friends, and then we've just gone to a place called Steak, Steak Out in London, and the food was like, it was like a good version of Nando's, it was like better than Nando's, it was so good, so nice, and then we went to Creams. So I am properly full up. feel it right now um and yeah we're gonna hit the sack treatment 13 has gone really well been really successful but i'm really like um i definitely feel hungover right now as you can probably tell my eyes are like Ugh. and i probably look as well but i kind of like expected it like, i expected it to feel like this and you know the battle goes on you just got to kind of uh get your head down now new year treat this brain tumor get it rid get it gone for good. So hopefully we can do that in 2017. It's going to be a big year ahead. Thanks for watching. Treatment 13. Next one in a couple of weeks. Love you lots. Peace. Oh.